Morning traders, Paul here with Gamma Edge. Today is Friday, 21st of, what is it, July. Wow, let's get started. Pause your players here, read to the very bottom. If you agree, hit that play button. Summary for today, a uh, slight bearishness in the air. We had our short-term market models, which are appropriate for the zero DTE and the one to three day swing traders, uh, actually turn off and move to a, uh, a, the sidelines or even a, a slight downward pressure. <clears throat> this being said, the longer term model remains in an uptrend, uh, so we have a continuation day up. The overall of the market model, we are in a short term pullback and a longer term uptrend. The uh, TLDR on everything here, so if you've been living under a rock and not really aware of what the market is doing, the AM complex settles at the open. Uh, we see a mixed picture. Uh, it starts slightly bearish, uh, but we think 4,600 is a clear upside target into next week, and we do remain in the money call dominated below us, which is supportive. Now, we do have a few cracks in the ice above us, but uh, you know those may get repaired if the, uh, the bulls return. From the SPX-PM complex perspective, uh, we are slightly extended above what we call transition. Um, not worrisome, but something to pay attention to. Uh, the minus GEX has dropped from the JPM end of month, end of quarter September strike down to a realistic 4,500. This is normal. This is good. Um, it just means we have some positioning down below us now in the uh, at 4,500, which is uh, going to provide liquidity if we do pull back. Uh, we are called Delta dominated below spot. This is supportive. And uh, we have good charm as long as we remain above 45.35. If we drop significantly below that, then uh, things flip and uh, the wheels come off the wagon. The combo complex, which is the AM and the PMs. Uh, remember, AMs go away at the open. Uh, and then we shift out to the August AMs. Uh, but the PMs will definitely be in play. So transitions, uh, 45.20 minus trans. I, you're going to see I drew it in at 45.05. It's ugly. It's an ugly structure. Um, market is, in our opinion, is lost to the downside. Um, we think this is cautionary. Uh, liquidity to the downside is relatively poor right now because we do not have a defined structure. We'll talk a little bit more about this when we get down to the SPX combo chart. Uh, we are call dominated above and below, which is bullish, but this is a snapshot in time. It can change on a dime. I don't want DMs saying, you know, we called it wrong. No, we didn't call it wrong. Uh, things change given intraday uh, uh, positioning, so just be aware of that. We do have a delta node, uh, which is a position of low exposure all the way up at 4605. We don't think we're going to get there. Uh, but other, other than that, we have no out-of-the-money put speculators or loss of out-of-the-money call speculators. This is solid. This is really good. Uh, so this pullback within a longer-term structure is very constructive, and we think uh, we know how to play it using both our market model as well as the tools that we have. <clears throat> I've listed a number of parking zones. Really want to draw your attention to the 4540. Uh, we think this is going to be an important line. We want to remain above it. Uh, it's going to be a very important line for Monday, depending on how things go. Uh, for the zero DT folks, we have a lot of them in the Discord. Uh, positive transition, 4550 minus transition at 4535. We're on the lower bound of that transition. We really need to get above 4550 to break free and start moving up. Uh, because of the starting on the low side, we are starting slightly bearish. Uh, whether we gap up or down, uh, the structure is is not very uh, supportive below us. So it's going to be important to get up that, over that 4540 and uh, start pushing north. Um, plus GEX and minus GEX on the zero DTE have both dropped. This is short term positioning, at least for the plus GEX. Uh, when calls position closer to spot, uh, we see this as short term bullish. Uh, they want to take that convexity and they want to do it in a very short time frame. On the flip side, this is actually not good because when we see the complex contracting like this, uh, it generally does not bode well unless the bulls step up. So we're at a real kind of indeterminate point right now and just want everyone to be cautionary about that. Uh, your time frame of analysis will definitely matter. Um, some of the if-thens, uh, if we are above 4540, which we see as a major uh, gamma line for today, then I think we start shifting more to a, bull, a bullish bias. Certainly any retests back to 4540 can be bought. 
a clear line in the sand and uh, your risk reward is going to be pretty well defined at that area. Uh, if we do make it up to 4560, uh, which we see as a, another dominant level and we're approaching it from underneath, um, we'll have plus guess with ITM call support. And what that means is, is that we'll start flipping more and more of these calls into an in the money status. Uh, that'll be good for our progress upward and the dealer response could be to push us upward. Uh, we will need to see, we think, uh, targeting above 4560. So we'd be looking for the 6570 all the way up to the 90 line. Uh, and you can watch VOLD uh, within the Discord to have a visual on what's happening uh, you know, every 15 minutes. Uh, if we clear the 4600 line, we think this is unlikely, but it's possible. Uh, we see an immediate stalling at 4605, absent any upside targeting. So that's the upside. The downside, um, we have to make sure we're balanced here because there is certainly, with all the uncertainty, there's some, some potential to move lower. If we are below the 4530 line, uh, we think 4510 becomes a very fast test and, and very, uh, very easy to attain. We would look for 4510 to hold. If it does not hold, then we could certainly see a uh, push towards uh, 4490. Uh, and if we get any targeting with the puts to the downside, obviously that can pull us lower. So the Discord members, just a reminder here, watch the value and the VALD commands and uh, ask questions if you, you don't understand that. <clears throat> From the market model perspective, the bolded white line tells the story. We had a pullback yesterday. Uh, we had the railroad track pattern indicated by the two X's. They started to roll over and invert. That turns everything off. Uh, you can see that we're still in the longer term uptrend, which is the colorful ribbon that you see there. So just be aware that we are watchful, mindful of a pullback to previous levels and, and maybe the top of that red uh, ribbon that you see there and then you know potentially a continuation if you want to know what this could look like just go back a few days to 717 so July 17th you can see where the 16th we or the 14th we pulled back which was last Friday and then Monday we started oozing our way up here and we could have the same thing today so just be aware of that uh, gamma levels we're watching we are seeing a little bit more red creep into the Delta structure just want everyone to be aware of that very, very small expected open high, low close range today anticipated less than 60.62% uh, open high, low close. So just be aware, not expecting a lot of fireworks here at all. Uh, PM settled complex. Uh, the three X's indicate delta nodes that we're watching in what we call the more liquid or more tradable of the PMs uh, or of the SPX. Uh, clearly, 4600 is indicated. It is both uh, minus GEC, plus GEX, excuse me, and uh, COI with minus GEX sitting down there now at 4500. That was sitting up there at 4665, which is the end of September JPM strike. There was 39,000 short calls sitting up there, uh, just for your, your knowledge. Uh, we do see green support uh, in the deltas, which means that the out of the money put speculators are nowhere to be found. The in the money calls below spot price are clearly in control and remain in control. This is supportive. This is strong. So we are still in this bullish phase and we think uh, any pullbacks may be able to be uh, be bought. Zero DTE for today. Remember the uh, the uh, AMs are out of the question at the open. And so really what we're left with is what you see here. So we are at the bottom of the transition, as I indicated earlier, that 45, uh, 35 is a strong area. Uh, if we drop below that, you can see we're, we're immediately captured by some of that negative gamma. Uh, but down below us, even on the zero DT, you can see that we have the in the money calls that are gonna be supportive until they, they come off. Um, the ones closest to the yellow line are definitely gonna start increasing uh, due to charm. They're gonna be in the money. And as long as they are growing towards one, we're going to be supportive. So just be aware of that. To the north, uh, you can see that very, very quickly above 45.45 and 45.50, Delta start flipping. Uh, we really need the out of the money call speculators to step up here and start pounding those in the money puts into submission. We're not seeing that right now. But if we can get above 45.60, you can see that there is the potential to capture more and more um, uh, Deltas start flipping the model the other direction and possibly be supportive into the weekend. Uh, the one DTE, this is that 4540 line that I was telling you about. It's the top of transition. It's also the indicated call open interest dominant strike for Monday. This thing is going to be a big deal into today because if we're above it, they're in the money, that'll be supportive. If we're below it, it'll be out of the money. It'll be destructive. 
So I want everyone to be aware of that and how to play that. Uh, we think any bounces down to 45.40, if we can break through it today, should be played to the north. Uh, depending on where we are into the end of the day, we do see this as a dominant strike with the potential of being a pinning mechanism for uh, uh, our close today. Also want to highlight that 4560. That's a, a pretty important strike, and you can see we pretty much stall above that at 4565, and then we turn our deltas red uh, for Monday. Um, so just be aware of that and be aware of those dynamics. Taking a look into the crystal ball for next week, pretty important here. Uh, we do have a little bit of weakness creeping in below us. Uh, that's that 4515, 4520. You can see the delta is starting to flip. These are out of the money uh, put speculation that's occurring, and it's occurring in a significant level that it's causing the in the money calls there to get pounded. Uh, so we don't want to see this crack in the ice develop. Sequencing will matter next week of how we navigate this. It doesn't exist on every day. It's a path dependency that uh, you need to be able to look at. Luckily, we got the tools to do that and would urge everyone to come in. Uh, to the north, you can see a lot of changing states in the deltas. Again, uh, with that 4540, uh, since it's on Monday, it's uh, definitely got a role to play here. And then you can see all the way up to 4600, it's a pretty big deal. Just want everyone to be aware uh, that 4540 is a big deal into next week. We've got some uncertain overhead, um, what we would call cracks in the ice, and the out of money call speculators next week really need to stop you know, starting today and then into early next week to really pound a path north and be able to get to that 4600 line. The combo complex, you can see where the red X is. Uh, that's 4505. Uh, that's a delta node. We uh, often see weakness around these uh, transition areas where we go through a zero. We don't think we're getting up there, but we've got clear runway all the way up on the deltas. We've got clear runway all the way down, uh, supportive. And just remember, all of those uh, close to that yellow bar are going to be um, effectively the charms below us are going to be supportive in general. So uh, pretty strong. We're above transition of 4520, not bad. Now, I drew 4505 as the low end, but if you look down there, you see some positive gamma uh, stepping in, and you actually see some areas where the deltas uh, come out of the billions and, and, and get you know lower billions in, in overall value. Still a very strong structure down below us, but with the gamma going back and forth, these are called secondary and tertiary uh, transition zones, and uh, if the market gets a... Uh, uh, you know, uh, incentive to, to drop lower, these can develop into the lower transition points. We've seen it in the past, and we just want to urge everyone to keep an eye on those things uh, as, as areas of weakness in the overall structure. Final chart here, um, the, the key takeaway, 5,000 continues to grow. It's amazing. 4,700 continues to grow. Again, amazing. Uh, 4,600 is what it is, but as we just discussed, the path up there is not clear. It's not clean. So we just want everyone to be a little bit cautious on thinking that we're going to 4,600 in the short term. We don't see it easily next week unless the structure changes today and early next week. Uh, we do see the area below 45.25 as messy. That's what that circle says, and that's because we immediately lose uh, this, uh, this environment that we're in right now below that 45.25. But you can see there are spikes of positive gamma that uh, appear up and knowing that we have positive deltas, obviously not shown here because uh, this is a gamma chart, but uh, knowing that we have uh, solid uh, foundational support in call dominated uh, deltas below us, uh, which are in the money, uh, we, we're, we are confident that we are gonna remain in this regime until proven otherwise. So watch that 4525, that will embolden the bears if we drop through there. Uh, if we remain above that and certainly above the 4540 line, we think the bulls will still remain in control. So that's it for today. If you have questions, comments, concerns, criticisms, we urge you to come into gammaedge.us. Click on that uh, link there uh, or go to, type it into your browser. Go to the upper right-hand corner. You'll see a pricing tab. Fill out the blanks. Come on in. 14-day free trial. All the tools turned on. On Twitter, follow us at Gamma Edges with an S. And then here on YouTube, two things. If you like today's commentary, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. So next time that we post videos, you get notified. So with that, I will bid you farewell. Make it a great Friday. Have a great weekend. Uh, we do have an open mic on Sunday nights in the Discord. And make sure that you attend that. Take care, everyone.